So now that we know that a vector is the direction and magnitude of a force, I'm going to build a simple truss bridge to help us understand a real life example where we might see vectors in action. So the vector that we're going to focus on from bridges today is called the reaction force of the bridge. So the reaction force is the force applied to the bridge itself from the pins that hold it in place. The pins are the red squares you can see on the right and left of the river attached to the land. This is what holds the bridge in place. The reaction force we'll be able to see is applied more to the top middle of the bridge. And you'll see that when the beams that go from the pins to the top of the bridge change color, meaning that they're under a certain amount of force. The amount of force will be displayed in the bottom middle of the screen as a percentage. So then we have a value for the magnitude of the force in the bottom middle of the screen, and we have the direction of the force, which is in the beams angled toward the top middle of the bridge. So when I run this example with the van crossing over, you'll be able to see where I point. Um, so we've got the van there, and then we've got the beams that change color because of the force right here and on the other side as well. So now, that, now we know a real life example of vectors, which, was, uh, which is the reaction force in a bridge.